Ah, oh, lovely Zoe Edward. Cares, cares, how are you gorgeous girl? Missing all of you people. Ah, oh, gorgeous little Hills is there. Yulita, how are you? Right, I've got to get cracking. So, we're going to make a fabulous soda bread for you this afternoon. We have a gorgeous cocktail. Now, we put it on uh, as a little teaser. We're going to do um, a Between the Sheets. We thought because we're all on lockdown, prohibition, something a bit uh, naughty, <laughs> clearly. So we thought we'd go, Divine would go Between the Sheets with you this afternoon. So we're going to do a Between the Sheets and we have a cute, a really cute little idea um, as a, a way to dress a table, to dress napkins. Again, we're on lockdown, we've got time on our hands, this is something that you might be able to do with the children. I've been out and I've raided the garden here, I've, I've snipped a couple of things as I walk down the path. Uh, and I'm going to just show you how to dress up some napkins just for a bit of fun. You know, the weekend's coming, Sunday lunch is on the horizon. Let's make something special. Let's make something fabulous. Um, excuse me. Uh, so a little, a little treat for the kids. Cheers, everybody. Happy, what day is it? I didn't even know what day it is. Wednesday. Today. Happy, is it? it's hump day, is it? Oh, it's, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> Oh dear God, does anybody know where we are? Cheers, everybody. <laughs> James and Holly, how nice to have you. How nice to see you. How's little H? I bet he's missing the garden this afternoon. Bring back the sunshine. Zoe, how are you, Zoe? Nice to have you on board. Nice to see you. Charlotte, how are you, Charlotte? Little princess, how's it going? Um, Kelly, Kelly, how are you? Kelly, how nice to see you. I'm just trying to see who you've got. Tom, lovely Tom. How's William? <laughs> he's ready. <laughs> and uh, Luca, Luca. Nice to see you, Luca. How's it going? Right, let's get cracking. We need a bowl. Now, soda bread is dead easy. We don't have to worry with soda bread about uh, activating yeast and letting it prove and, and doing it. We just basically get on with it. Now, the key ingredient to soda bread is obviously buttermilk. Not everybody has got buttermilk going on, so I'm going to show you a very, very quick tip, a, a quick and easy uh, cheat on buttermilk. So basically we need to acidulate the milk, which makes it sort of curdle slightly, which is what we want. You, uh, traditionally, uh, traditionally um, soda bread was made with sour milk, or it is made with sour milk. So I'm just going to show you a quick trick to souring milk. So we need about 400 millilitres of milk. So I'm just whacking that into a jug. There's about 400 millilitres of milk there. Let's just pop that, pop that to one side. Now, to acidulate this uh, milk, <laughs> we came out. I seem to be doing this every day. I obviously like a little roll of something soft and squidgy on the tabletop. So give it a little squeeze. We're getting the juices coming up again in our, in our lemon. So we're going to put, basically into that, we would put two tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. So we need to get that in there nice and quickly. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm just going to take it through my hands quickly. Um, do, 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 Lou Young. Ah, oh, Lou, good afternoon. How are you, sweetheart? Um, Ellie, Ashwin, Ashwin again, nice to see you, <laughs> thank you for tuning in again. Obviously we weren't, uh, we weren't, we didn't put you off the last time. Right, so we get, get the lemon juice and we're just putting that in there. So as I say, it's about two, two tablespoons that are going in there. So this will just acidulate the, um, just acidulate the milk and it'll curdle it. So we need to leave this for about five minutes. Um, gorgeous hells, bells, how are you sweetheart, hope you've had a good day. Um, Another one that lives up there in the Dean. Terribly posh they are up there. Uh, there we go. So in goes the lemon juice. So just take the take that through my hands. Let's just get rid of that into the bin. Excuse me. <laughs> ben says landscape. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, do you know chili pepper black chili videos? I can't wait for you to come and help us with our uh, production. <laughs> as soon as we're able to. So we'll just stir that in. Just get that lemon juice into that milk and we'll just leave it sitting there for five, five minutes. That's all we need. We're basically just waiting for the, for the, uh, the milk to acidulate the, uh, the, the lemon to acidulate the milk, which will make it fabulous. Um, clearly suitable then to mix in with our soda bread. Let's get cracking with our ingredients. So to this we have um, wholemeal, wholemeal strong flour. In that goes, that's about 200, 220 grams. Now you could make it totally with um, wholemeal flour, but we're, we're making a mix. So the, classically it would be a mix, so we're going to go into the mix. About 200, 250, 270 grams of strong white flour. So there are, there are baking flours. To that, we're going to add a good teaspoon of, a 
good teaspoon of baking soda. So in goes a good teaspoon of baking soda. Just pop that in. Da -da -da. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. Obviously a tiny little bit of salt goes in. So this is dead simple, it's dead easy to make. You don't need to, you don't need to worry, which is beautiful. You don't need to worry about, uh, about um, activating yeast and letting it prove and, and go on. Just waiting to, to allow that milk to acidulate. Um, when, when it does, it takes about sort of 10 minutes. So we've got all of our dry ingredients in the bowl now, um, and we are gonna mix, uh, we're gonna mix all of that together. So you need a good, a nice little wooden spoon. Nice and easy, you can get your hands in here if you want to. Um, and we're just gonna mix all those dry ingredients through so that they are ready. Uh, Dawn, gorgeous Dawn, how are you sweetheart? I've been watching you on Facebook too, all of your cooking creations. Uh, Inga, lovely to have Inga back on board too. Nice to see you Inga, hope you had a lovely day. So we just mix all of our dry ingredients in there, mix them together. There we are. Just waiting, just waiting on the acidulation of the milk to, to sort of kick in. With this beautiful bread, um, which, trust me, it will be beautiful. I'm just waiting for the acidulation to take place, so we'll go there. What I thought we'd do, and this is something that you can get the, the kids involved with as well, get the children involved with, um, which would be a bit of fun. Um, we're going to make some beautiful flavoured butter. So it's quite, quite simple, it's quite easy. Cheers, everybody, it's fabulous. It's clearly very simple to do. Mm. And I'm just gonna show you two, two very, very quick and easy ones. Um, there is a reason for one of them, which will become uh, clearer later. And the other one uh, is just because it's a beautiful thing. Now, somebody's just reminded me, my shoes, what am I wearing? What shoes am I wearing on a day like today? I'm wearing wellies. Of course I'm wearing wellies, no. I'm wearing some beautiful Japanese silk slippers. Let me just show you. There we are, my little Japanese silk slippers. I thought a splash of colour, something fabulous. Look like Louboutin. Something gorgeous. <laughs> Christian Louboutin, mm, I wish they were. So there you go, my Japanese silk slippers. Let me wash my hands and wipe the work top and get back, back on my feet. Melinda. There we are. Gorgeous <laughs> Melinda is back on with us, how are you? Right, quick wash of the hands, there we go. Jules. Oh, here we go, right. So let's get cracking. So butters. So again, this is something, as I said, this is something beautiful that you can do with the kids or just do for yourself because it really does make a huge difference. I can't get my shoe on, excuse me. And it would just be very uncomfortable if I don't get it on now. There we are. Liam so, has their slippers. Who what? Liam. 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 <laughs> Liam, you were very quiet yesterday. Are you all right? And no, they're not slippers. They're shoes. Cheers. Fabulous shoes is what they are. Okay, so we're going to do two, two little butters. Uh, two little butters to go with our beautiful soda bread. We're going to do one, which is a rosemary and lavender. Rosemary and lavender butter. Um, ooh, let's leave the glasses on so I can see what we're doing. Lou, Lou Young, just Google acidulate. <laughs> Did she? Am I going to go right, Lou? <laughs> you just Googled acidulate. Did I get, have I used it in the right context? So we're going to use some rosemary. Basically, I've just got, it's just, just butter. Just a bit of lower pack, salted butter. Love that little bit of salt in there. Mo, I know Mo specifically likes extra salt on her butter, so we'll do that with this one. We're just going to pull off some little bits of rosemary, just like this. So I've washed this. This is uh, just, just picked from the garden, just fresh rosemary. You just want a little bit. We're just going in with a bit of flavour. Uh, let's make sure we don't have any little stalky bits in there, so let's get rid of those. And then we've got some dried lavender but you could use fresh lavender, dried lavender, whichever, it doesn't matter. And literally, again, I'm just gonna pull off some of the little lavendery bits, just break them down, break them in, in amongst the um, rosemary, just like that. The smell is insanely beautiful. It makes me think of Provence and summer days, not on lockdown. Marie. Marie. French Marie. French Marie. Oh, French Marie. <laughs> Bonjour, Marie. I hope you're well, gorgeous lady. Uh, there we go. So we've got a little bit there. It also reminds me of L'Occitane, um, the rosemary, the lavender. There we are. So I've got a little bit of lavender, a little bit of rosemary. Now, I'm just going to run my knife through that very quickly. So let's pull it together. So what I'm going to do first is, with the heel of the knife, press it 
releases the flavours from the rosemary, releases the flavour from the from the lavender. And then literally just a quick rough chop, which is fly, sending it everywhere, but the smell is beautiful. It's insanely beautiful. When are you planning to do pasta? I don't know why I went to Northern Irish there. Uh, pasta. Do you know what? We are, we are we're looking at pasta. We are going to do something before we do pasta. We're going to go a little Italian on you one day this week and we're going to make gnocchi. Um, we are so missing one of our, one of our favourite restaurants, which is a beautiful restaurant in London called Cicchetti's. And they do the most fabulous, insanely fabulous... Um, gnocchi basket so it's a gorgonzola sauce gnocchi uh, parmesan basket it's insanely beautiful so we're going to make that for you this week so hills hells ken and liam everybody else lewis all the guys that have been with us to this beautiful restaurant it's one of the dishes that we always go for so we're going to do that we are looking at trying to do pasta um, uh, one day because obviously it's nice and easy so into the butter goes the lavender and the rosemary beautiful beautiful flavors I'm going to add a little bit of extra salt into that. Into the butter. Into the butter goes a little bit more salt. I don't know why I'm doing voices today. I'm obviously slightly schizophrenic or something without the sunshine. Then we just mix that in. Basically, just mix that in. And you have this beautiful... Do you remember video, Blow Up Peter? Blow Up Peter. Where has Blow Up Peter Chips. just come from? Chips. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a bit of history there. Oh. So this is a beautiful lavender and rosemary butter. So that's there. I'm going to leave this soft because I'm going to quenelle it um, for when we finish. But what you can do with that is put it into little butter pats. Nanny Gary used to make it. You <laughs> no, did she? Sarah. Nanny Gary used to make this. My granny, my nanny, Sarah. I didn't know that at all, Sarah. Um, so that's there. Sorry for diverging there. Um, you can put that into little ice cube trays, into little butter pats. Um, what you could also do is just form a tiny little block, wrap it in greaseproof paper, pop it in the fridge. It's fabulous. It's be that, that, It's going to taste insane when we come to the soda bread. So for the second one, I'm just going to make a quick second one here. So again, we've just got some fabulous... Uh, butter. Fabulous. Cheers, everyone. Keep those glasses topped up, boys and girls. It's a wet, damp day out there. Mm. So the second one we're actually going to do, if I can find one, we're going to do a quick lemon and lime butter. This one is just dead easy. Just dead easy. So we've got our butter softened in there. I'm not going to add additional salt to this because I actually, we don't need that salty. We need that sort of, we need the little sort of beautiful, soury, zesty, lemon and limey kind of flavour. So, there we go. We've got the zest of a lemon. Look at that pizza <laughs> So we've come, up with a, we've come up with a new method of me being able to see what you're saying. Jane is standing by the side of me, she's got a massive oh, whiteboard. A big cable, she looks like she's advertising pizza or something on the road. All the end of the world is nigh. So she's got this huge board that wipes clean so that I can say, Jules from South Africa is watching. Hello, gorgeous Jules. Hope you're all very well. Harriet, how are you? Kerry, uh, Nina Wilmert, hey! <laughs> nice wedding. to see you. <laughs> Congratulations. And yes, your wedding will just be insane. Uh, there was one at the bottom, Sue, Sue Madeline. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, lovely. Right, so into this, we've got lime going here as well. So it's a lemon and lime butter. This will become fabulously clear why I'm doing this later. Um, dun, dun, dun. Let's just get that going. So, in there it goes. Let's give that a quick shake, quick knock. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that. I've got half a little over the worktop, I apologise. So in it goes. And then literally just add that. Look at those beautiful citrusy colours. The butter. The smell is just insane. It's fabulous. So there are two little flavoured butters. Lemon and lime, uh, rosemary and lavender. And they will go beautifully with our 
soda bread, which we are coming back to now. As I said, so our soda bread, it is dead easy. We have our Nina's dry ingredients. You. Who's watching? Nina. Nina, hi oh. Nina. <laughs> Hello gorgeous Nina, how are you? Look, Nina, it's not cake today. See, I'm making bread. Uh, <laughs> at least I hope I'm making bread. Glasses on, so I'm trying to look very clever today as well. So, we have our dry ingredients, you make a well. We have acidulated our milk. So you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but literally, it sort of curdles it. Basically, what we wanted to do was curdle the milk, because that's what we need that's what needs to happen. Now, straight in, just like it's straight into the middle, straight into the well. All of it just goes straight in. This is why it's so much easier than, than other breads. And then you can use your hands. You can get your hands in here and you get physical with this if you feel you want to. So in that goes, whilst before I get all of that in there, there's my little tip. Now this is not essentially a classic um, soda bread tip, but my little tip is to just pop a little tiny bit of honey. So we're talking... Because you've got Winnie. We're talking... They found Winnie. ...about <laughs> a tablespoon. A tablespoon of honey going in there because we've had Winnie and we have Tigger joining us today. The little Henry and everybody else who likes Winnie the Pooh. Uh, there you go, so let's get this let's get this folded in. So literally, fold that in, stir that in, as I say, if you want to get your hands in there, you can. Now this is the basic soda bread, and it's so, so simple. So you just get this mixed into a beautiful dough. So you can see that dough is just pulling together, cleaning the sides, there we go. Beautiful dough in there now. So, huh, my Irish cousins and my Irish family um, will hate me for saying this, I know. So this now, this soda bread is beautiful. It's a basic, basic soda bread, basic ingredient. If you wanted to fancy it up a bit, this is the time that you could. So now we could put lavender in, we could put rosemary in there, we could put lemon and lime in there, we could do whatever, whatever you want. Whatever you think you're gonna sort of serve it with, you could add in elements of it uh, at this stage, but we are not going to. We want a beautiful classic soda bread. So we take a baking sheet. To that baking sheet, we just take a little bit of butter and we just grease down the baking sheet quickly. Just grease that down like that. And then I need, excuse my back, tiny, tiny little flour. So it's a floured baking sheet. So there we go. That's now floured up. And then we're literally just going to turn out, we're going to turn our dough onto our baking sheet. Now we're wanting to create, if we can, a beautiful, beautiful sort of round, soda bready kind of shape. So just sort of malleable, just create that sort of soda bready kind of shape. There we go. So that is, let's waste it. Let's get that little bit there, pop that there. They're dying for a drink. So you're, oh my God, have I not said fabulous for a while? <laughs> God, how oh, are you fabulous people? Clearly I'm so sorry. No. Oh. Gosh, what is coming over me today? So, we have our soda bread on the baking sheet. Then you take a little tiny bit more flour in your hand. And again, you just flour the top of the soda bread. There we go, nice and simple. Now, this is important. You then take a big knife and you basically just put a cross the whole way through. So you divide into four, so you get that beautiful scoring going across the bread. Now my mother, my mammy, told me that I should do something with flicking the ends up. I really have no idea what she's talking about. So if, if I've offended anybody by not doing something key, I apologize. But you're supposed to flick the ends or something, I don't know. Into a hot oven. This will take 35, 40 minutes, about 190 degrees. You just whack it straight in and just let it go. Chips, the cocktail is, you'll love this one. So, talking of cocktails, we're on to a cocktail, yeah? Chips had just wanted to know what it was, she's just asking me. <laughs> Chips, it's between the sheets, baby. We are divine between the sheets with you tonight. Um, this cocktail is our uh, prohibition. It's a classic prohibition cocktail. Seeing as we are all in lockdown, uh, we thought that we would do a little prohibition cocktail. 
So this is between the sheets, between the sheets with you and I. Ah, Richard, how are you, gorgeous man? Is Dickie Dixon on board? Strawberry, hello, how are you? Our lovely Maria Scavetta, she, uh, in a very cold walk today in Maidenhead, bless her. Uh, out in the cold, which I think everybody has been today. Uh, Joe Gentry, we are onto cocktails, so let's get going with a little cocktail. So we're going to do it between the sheets. The ingredients for are between the sheets. This is a rum base. We have rum. No, we don't. We have brandy. brandy. It's a brandy base. <laughs> we have brandy. Thank you. There, I pointed that out. We have white rum, Bacardi. We have Cointreau, and we're going to have um, lemon juice. So to this little concoction, we will add. Oh, oh, let's pull off my knife. Da, 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 da. So, it's a shaken cocktail, so we need our shaker, and where did I put it? We need some ice. Let's get rid of the water that's in there. So our shaker and some ice. In it goes. Now remember, I'm making I'm making two here, so we need two, two, two. We need. It's quite an easy one. Basically, for a single one, it's thirty mils. So a shot of everything, but because I'm making two, if I can get my brandy open, sorry, excuse me. To, I hope you are making these cocktails at home, and please do remember to send in any pictures of stuff that you are doing. I'm hearing that there are, uh, thank you, I'm hearing, I'm hearing lots of people that, that are making these, but can, send us some pictures, send us some photos, let us know what you're doing or what your versions of all of these fabulous things are. Okay, so clearly, here we go. Ah, so it is a double shot of brandy. You know me, let's have a little tiny bit more, just for the fun of it. Then we go with ah, white rum. Little white rum goes in. Then we go with some Cointreau. So this is between the sheets. This is the little cocktail that was dreamt up because people were having to stay on lockdowns and were having to hide away. And then this, this became the secret little prohibition drink that uh, people would sort of meet up and, uh, and drink in little secret rendezvous like, you know, in somebody's garden at the bottom of a balcony or Cookham High Street, you know what I'm talking about? Um, don't point with a knife, I'm sorry, that's very rude. In here goes lemon juice. Now, we usually use about two tablespoons of lemon juice, so let's just squeeze this lemon in here. There's a lot of lemon today. Oh, hopefully this is going to bring a little bit of sunshine into your evening. If it doesn't, two of these and then you won't really care anyway. Oh, the whiskey sours yesterday, please. God, if you try anything, do make that whiskey sour recipe. Did anybody try it? Flick me a message, let me know if you tried it uh, now. The whiskey sours were just stunning. And that beef, you've really got to give that beef a go. It was insane. It was just fabulous. Right, there we go. So, our ingredients are in there now. Do, 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 do. So we have brandy, Cointreau, uh, rum. I'm looking for my glass, there it is. Lemon juice, ice, pop the lid on. Shaky, shaky. This is a slower shake because we're just wanting to emulsify all of the flavors together. Just a little shaky, shaky. I'm shaking this for you, Marie. Sweeney, you should be on this tonight. Ah. So somebody's asking whether we should do a Mai Tai or a Purple Rain. I don't even know what a Purple Rain is. Belinda. Oh, Belinda, tell us what a Purple Rain is. We might make it. That would be fun to do. Paul Wilcox has joined the, the fun. How are you, Paul, Mr. Wilcox? Uh, James Cornish, how are you, James? Evening, nice to see you. And our gorgeous Babs. Cheers, everybody. It's fabulous to have you all on board. Um, is that Carl? Kath. Oh, Kath, Kath, it's like, yeah, they're all sorted, don't you worry. Uh, cheers, everybody, it's fabulous to have you all here. I'm so glad that you're, that you're sort of tuning in and taking part. Cocktails, here we go. So, two glasses that have been pre-chilled. 
ready to roll. Our beautiful prohibition. Oh God, you do when you just feel that cocktail pouring into that glass, it just makes you go, oh, especially on a day like today. There we are, just simply divine. The best. <laughs> That is fab you love. Oh, right. Now we're going to dress this because we can. You could do a little twist of lemon or a little twist of uh, something, but what we are going to do is um, because we like them, we're going to dress it with a pansy. So we're just going to float a little pansy. There we go. On each cocktail. Just beautiful. Janie. <sighs> There's a little between the sheets. I hope you give this little between the sheets a go. Get between the sheets with these later. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I hope you want a cocktail. Sweet dreams. Fabulous sweet dreams. <laughs> it's good to knock you out. I hope you've got a fabulous cocktail or a fabulous glass of wine at home. Now's the time to take oh, a sip. Oh, that's a good one. That's a sour, chilled. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. That is clearly fabulous. Oh, my God. God, that's right. That is good. Oh, you need to be on the beach somewhere. Slurp in that one. Yeah. Oh, God, that's gorgeous. Right, let's start pulling this together. Let's start getting this in. I'm going to start clearing off my top. Not my top, obviously, because I don't think anybody wants to see that sort of thing going on. I'm going to start using this. Let's clear away this. Everybody's saying cheers to you, Adam. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Fabulous. Cheers. Mm. You gorgeous, gorgeous people. I adore that you keep us company, on a, especially on a day like today. Uh, right, I'm clearing down, so my board. We're going rustic and beautiful, so I'm just literally using this back to this board that we used the other day. Um, the beautiful Just came from the beautiful Just's Emporium. Um, let's just move my lavender out of sight, out of the way. And let's get rid of that ingredient too. Sorry, we you do my bowl in front of you. Right, we thought, just as I said, as the weekend's coming, we thought that we'd do something simple that you could actually get the kids involved with. I just have to have another slurp of this, I'm sorry. Mm. Cheers, I'm uh, Peter and Carol, I'm trying to keep up with Jane's drinking today. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Mm. I love the pansy on the top. Everyone loves a pansy on top. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, <laughs> <laughs> oh God, <laughs> where's Anita this afternoon with all the innuendos? She's here, she's telling you, she's... <laughs> oh, goodness, you'll see them later. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you gorgeous people. This is, uh, oh, this really is, gives me a bit of fun doing this. I think Jane and I have a lot of fun doing this. So I hope you do too. We are going to dress some beautiful napkins. Now, now we've got some fabulous napkins with some beautiful people in mind. So, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> we probably will get arrested at some point. So we have a beautiful Bell and Dragon napkin for everybody that's missing the Bell and Dragon. I'm going to dress this beautifully. We have a fabulous uh, Brasserie Zadell, so the two Davids and, and other people. Beautiful. Um, they obviously send them to us as promotional articles, clearly. Um, a Brasserie Zadell, which we are going to dress. And for Sir Kenneth, the gorgeous Sir Kenneth, we have a pure French linen napkin from Colbert. And the Marie as well, I would imagine. Uh, a little Colbert napkin. So, to these. This is just something that's a little, it's quite easy. Anita says, our house is full of velvet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know why. Chin -chin, we, we, certainly, we certainly don't go over the wall.com or anything like that. Cheers, everyone. Oh, they're just fabulous. Mm. Right, clearly, let's do this. This is quite easy. So, as I say, I just raided the garden. And I just picked up some bits and pieces. And I just thought that this is a nice, a nice little idea, perhaps for you to do with the kids. Um, or for yourselves, or just, you know, just, we're in lockdown, so, so we just want to do something that's a little bit different. Ken and Liam are spending every day at a different restaurant. My mother was actually convinced. She asked me, she said, 
how does Liam make all these reservations at all these fabulous restaurants and how, why are they even open? It's actually Liam creates the restaurant at home every day and then cooks in the style of that restaurant. So we have time to sort of play and do that. Um, talking of Ken and Liam, this one, because here, so this is our, this is our Colbert. Um, so what we've got, we've just got a strand of um, ivy. Now you want sort of the stuff that's trailing, it's, it's easier to use. So with this, we're just gonna wrap it round, literally wrap it round, and then what you do is you just tuck that into itself and flip it over and tuck it into itself. So there we go. So you just fold them round, just like that, and that will hold. So there we go. So we've got a little, we've got a little ivy napkin ring. Now this time of the year, the rhododendrons and Holly has been meticulously looking after the rhododendron here, and it is stunning. It's beautiful. This beautiful pink colour. So I've just taken a couple of rhododendron heads, one that's just starting flower. So you get that mix of that mix of uh, pink. So you're going to dusky pink to a vibrant pink, and it's just beautiful. You've got this fabulous green on there. And literally all I'm going to do here, because this is a, a classy little cocktail, uh, sorry, a classy little napkin and a classy little napkin ring for Colbert. I'm just going to tuck the two flowers inside that oh. ivy ring, and you literally just have a beautiful, a beautiful little shock of um, that beautiful little shock of pink on our beautiful linen napkin little ivy ring just to uh, just to That's create a, uh, a little um, napkin ring and there we are that's that one that's just fab just simple classy just like Sir Kenneth we'll then take another one so we're getting the bell ding dong the bell I'm gonna go with ivy again so this time I've got a deep green ivy this is a bit uh, a, little, a little bit smaller in, in, in shape little flower and I'm gonna go a little bit tighter so this is a little coarser so just with your hand just wind it round your hand to start with, just so that you get it broken, you get it flexy, you get it going to where you want it to go. Now Jules does this in South Africa all the time, so I've sort of, I'm sort of hijacking one of her ideas. She dresses tables beautifully and does this all so fabulously well. Um, clearly, she's just a genius at it. So then we take that and we wrap it round again. So we're creating, this time we're creating a bit more of a dense ivy. Uh, Napkin ring. <laughs> Elisa, I'm impressing you a lot recently. Did you not know I was capable of doing this? <laughs> now, as I say, I've just stolen all of these bits from the garden. So this is this is a beautiful jacarandal that's in the garden. Um, and I'm just going to find my scissors. And I'm just going to cut a few of these beautiful little, these are slightly centered, beautiful little pink, uh, purpley, with that yellow center. And again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this under into my napkin, tuck that under so that we get a little bit of a split. So and that just sits there on the napkin. Now I'm gonna to add to that a little bit of laburnum. laburnum. So that goes in, just tuck that in. You're just creating, you're creating beautiful little pictures. That's all we're trying to do. Just create little pictures into there and then gonna insert a little um, uh, a croissant, so this is just a, you know, it's just a nice little cheap little croissant. And we're just creating a beautiful little, we're using that as our base, in they go. Oh it's just this little attention to detail. So that's just, that's just a very simple little napkin. Very, very gorgeous, and there's no reason, you know, as I say, we've got time, let's make Sunday lunch beautiful. So there's those two there. Jill loves it. And then we're going to go Jules, South African Jules. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jules, this is your, this is right up your street, Jules. This is the sort of thing you do all the time. So we have those two there. Colbert, uh, sorry, Cafe, Cafe Zadel, Brasserie Zadel. Don't, gosh, don't, don't let me call them a cafe. Let's get these out of the way. Let's just move those because I'll use those. So, Clematis is everywhere at the moment. It is just beautiful. Look at this one. It's a, it's a fabulous little contrasting pink colour. Now this, all I'm going to do is take the top of my napkin. Now this sort of will snap, but that helps you because it will, it'll sort of take the shape and the place. Now I'm just gonna snap it, hold it, and I'm gonna pull it round, pull it round, oops, snap okay. and snap. And all I'm wanting to do is just try and wrap that and use that as a base to literally just cover 
in, let's put it over that from there. I'm just literally covering my napkin, tuck that in the end. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm literally just sort of wrapping and tucking so that I've got all these flowers sort of cascading through. So there, and to that, I'm just gonna add, now this time I'm just gonna add some little cut pieces of ivy just to fall around. It just coats the napkin. Take that all the way down, take that down, take it down. So there we go. This is a bit more wild and fabulous. And that just gives us a little napkin. Place setting, let's clear the decks. Our beautiful place setting. There we go, so there are napkins, they're dressing our, dressing our platter, or dressing our table settings. Uh, Jane's got me a load of mer Jess. Oh, the Mackays, hello gorgeous people. Vicky Dawks, God, I haven't seen you for ages, gorgeous girl. Um, Gosh, who have I got there? We've got Leslie Ann Norman. Leslie Ann Norman, oh my God. The video. The video. I, we put it online, I think, so people must see this video. Um, Anne Mortimer, how are you, lovely lady? I hope Alan as well, as well. Um, who do, 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 do. Kelly Toronto. Oh, uh, oh my God, Toronto. Oh, hi, Anne Kelly in Toronto. How are you? Cheers, Anne Kelly in Toronto. Guy, Emily, how are you, gorgeous people? Um, and uh, the Mortimers. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. Right, let's pull this together. It's almost time. We have our fabulous cocktail. I'm just going to nestle my fabulous cocktail there, just so that you can see it with our flowers. We then clearly, fabulously, we made... <laughs> we made one earlier. Here's one. <laughs> here's one we made earlier, because the other one's still in the oven cooking. So here's one we made earlier. This is our fabulous soda bread. I hope you can see that. So when it comes out, you turn it upside down and you tap it and it should be hollow, it sounds hollow. This one is perfectly sounding hollow. So this is our fabulous soda bread. It's just a beautiful, beautiful how classic. Do you know it's... How, do you know when it's, how do you know when it's hollow? Not sounds not. like my head. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna split this down if I can, uh, 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 which I can't, let me get a knife, there we go. So just split down the soda bread. There you go. Wow. <laughs> just have that lovely, lovely earthy soda bread. This will go beautifully. Let's split that down again. Uh, 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 uh. Steve Carroll, this one was made for you. If I could deliver it to you, wow. I would. So we just pop our soda bread there in amongst our little napkins. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's take another bit. Let's just go for it. There we go. So there you go. Soda bread on the deck. Liam's impressed, he said it looks fabulous. Oh, Liam, thanks very much. An <laughs> Irishman telling me it looks fabulous. I am delighted that you think that looks fabulous. Thank you. Let's just turn that round so that you can sort of see where we're going with that. Now, the reason that I made this lemon and lime butter is all gonna come to fruition now. So the best thing with soda bread, and this is, this is just the most fabulous thing to do. It's so, such a, just, you know, it's just such a gorgeous, fabulous idea. Smoked salmon, this is just a beautiful Irish smoked salmon. I'm just gonna whack that on the plate. Just there, it's literally just a tiny little bit, but it goes so beautifully well with our soda bread. Now to that, as my mammy always told me, we're just gonna add a little bit of black pepper a little bit of black pepper over the top. Tiny little bit of black pepper. Clearly, we are then going in with wow. a lemon. You've got to open this restaurant. <laughs> Tiny little bit of lemon. Squish that over. Okay, let's squish that over. A little bit of lemon in there. Beautiful. Now we turn to our butters. So this is why we decided to make a beautiful lemon and lime butter, because the lemon and lime butter with the hot soda bread is just a fabulous combination. So let me just do a very quick, we'll try and do a very quick, uh, let's just do, 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 do. So a very quick granule of butter, and then I'm just gonna pop that on the deck. So that's our lemon and lime butter. And this is our, our gorgeous, uh, the beautiful scent in this. This is our beautiful 
uh, it should be sponsored by Nocetin, a beautiful quinell of rosemary, <laughs> of rosemary and lavender. Now whack that on a bit of hot soda bread, bit of smoked salmon chucked on top, tiny drizzle of honey. There we go. There's today's little treat board. I hope that you, I'm just gonna, just gonna get a bit, bit poncy now and just Thank put a couple you. of little flowers on there. Our lovely, gorgeous Lewis, who we haven't seen for so long. Lewis, how are you? So nice to see you. Um, Carol, oh Carol, how are you? I'm so, so nice that you're tuning in. There you go, that's our little board for today. We have got the beautiful smoked salmon served mm -hmm. with our fabulous homemade soda bread. It's easy, you will love it. On a day like today, it's just the best thing. The guy said proper posh. Proper posh, <laughs> it's proper posh, it is proper posh. We've got our little napkin details, our little, little fabulous little napkins. They look gorgeous and please make this one. Uh, between the sheets. Um, I hope that we get to go between the sheets with you all soon. We will be back here again tomorrow live at five. If you've nowhere else to be and you've nothing else to do, then we would be fabulously clearly love to have you with us have a wonderful evening everybody from Janie and I lots of love have a great evening and we will see you tomorrow ta for now <laughs>